you've probably wondered what CRNA school is really like. I know I did. I scoured all over the internet, every single form that I could find online, trying to figure out what CRNA school was really like. Come along with me for a full day in the life, and I will show you what a day in my life looks like. As an introduction, my name is Anna. I'm originally from Boone, North Carolina. I went to nursing school in Colorado at the University of Colorado, Denver. I was a new grad in the CVCQ at Johns Hopkins in 2019 into 2020. I then became a COVID travel nurse because, you know, 2020 stuff. I started CRNA school in 2022, and I just started semester four, so I'm officially a second year SRNA. I am in a front-loaded CRNA program, meaning I have a year and a half of didactic and then a year and a half of clinical. The two different setups are integrated programs where you start clinical earlier and front-loaded programs, which is the type of format that I am currently in. I personally like that I have all of my core classes before I'm going to clinical, but I do see the pros and cons to both different formats. If you get into CRNA school, you should just go. I wouldn't choose one program over another, but I am very happy with the program that I ended up at. Because I am in the middle of semester four, this means that I have one more semester of didactic before I start clinical, meaning I'm gonna be full-time in the OR starting in January of 2024, which is wild to think about. Time is absolutely flying by. Today is a Tuesday, meaning I have anesthesia principles one from 8 a.m. until about 10.30 or 11 a 30 minute break, and then into anesthesia principles one lab. And then after that, I usually go ahead and I film my checkoff the same day. So I have as much time as possible for studying later in the week. I have three days where I'm on campus in class, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this semester. And then we have online assignments, study days, sim lab, and then video checkoffs to complete as well. Our faculty also encourages preclinical shadowing, and I'm trying to take advantage of that as much as I can just to really get familiar and comfortable in the operating room before I start clinical coming up in January of 2024. Anesthesia Principles 1 is where everything is really starting to come together. We had our chemistry and physics and our anatomy class, and AP1 is really where all the concepts are kind of starting to click, I feel like. My buddies most definitely agree. It, it's all coming together. Hello, it is 1.28 p.m. I just got out of anesthesia principles, lecture and lab, and it is time to eat my bag salad. I'm eating in the car because I wanna get some food in my system and I'm actually going to film a couple of TikToks right here. The rest of the afternoon is still pretty busy. Chrissy and I have a, we have a podcast to film, we have a team meeting and I need to review contracts with some of our video editors. And then I have a term paper to write about spinal and epidural and caudal anesthesia. And I have an exam on Thursday. So I'll be hopping into studying a little bit later in the afternoon. But this is a pretty good example of what a day in the life is like, like six hours of class, work for Confident Care Academy, and then more studying in the evening. <laughs> Do either a literal mixing bowl or a pot for my big salads. And I do the whole thing, whole bag salad. And then I like to add like some grains and proteins on the top. So it ends up actually being like pretty filling because if there's one thing that I like hate, I, I hate being hangry. So eating is very important. Mm. Mm. It's now 2 p.m. and it's Diet Coke time. Please comment what your primary and secondary choices of caffeine are in a given day. I'm a coffee in the morning and a Diet Coke in the afternoon type of person. I am off to film a little bit. While working on this paper here, I also am getting ready for the business meeting for Competent Care Academy. Chrissy CRNA and I started CCA a year ago because we wanted to create resources for critical care nurses that did not exist when we were new nurses. I'm having to wrap up the paper writing for now. I got to page three of this five page paper. It is not due until next week, but next week I have an exam in one of my more difficult classes right after the 4th of July. So I wanted to get this paper knocked out before the weekend so I can spend the weekend studying for physiology and anesthesia principles. This is a five page paper about spinal and epidural anesthesia. I got to page three. Now it is time to head into the Competent Care Academy business meeting. This is our quarterly meeting 
So we're talking about a couple of changes in like website redesign and contracts I'm excited about. Five thirty just finished. Five thirty just finished the business meeting. I'm still in the scrubs from this morning. I think I'm deciding not to work out today. I did work out like a lot yesterday. I lifted and did two dance classes, and I'm super sore. So I think it's gonna be a rest day. I'll insert footage for proof. <laughs> Because it's already 5.30 and I still have hours left of stuff to do, I know that I'm going to need to change my environment and kind of shake up what I'm doing in order to stay on task. I like to take breaks from one type of work with another type of work, <laughs> as bad as that sounds. So if I'm not writing a paper, then I can edit a video. If I'm not editing a video, then I can do an Anki deck. I really think that just variety is the spice of life. I also think that pickles are the spice of life. I go through about a jar a week. Because it's an exam week and I unfortunately need to learn endocrine, this is a day that a power nap is necessary. 20 minutes, 25 minutes max, so I can just be rested enough to hit the books again and not so well rested that I won't get back out of bed. I'm also learning to be careful and more judicious with my caffeine intake, but I love a little sparkling beverage. So even though it's about 7 or 8 o'clock, I can still have a little carbonated beverage, but it's not going to keep me awake. One thing I've learned about myself is that I'm just not, I can't study at home all the time. I am a girly who needs to change her environment. So I have a few coffee shops that I go to and I will rotate between them every few hours just so I can change my environment. It's now about nine o'clock and as evidenced here, I'm not stoked about endocrine, but it is all part of the learning process. And on days that I'm feeling meh, I do like to wear cute PJs. I feel like it helps me get into the bedtime resting and unwinding mindset a little bit more. I also like to make myself a cute little beverage. This cute little beverage has some cherry juice, some kombucha, and a little drink that has some melatonin in it that I'm not actually promoting necessarily, but it is very yummy. And I feel like it helps me relax, unwind, and feel like I'm having a special little treat at the end of the night. At the end of the day, I haven't really been watching much TV recently. I honestly edit videos or I'm trying to read a little bit at night. I am on the third book of A Court of <laughs> Thorns and Roses. I'm on the third book. Uh, book number two has been my favorite so far. If you're in the first book, just try to get through it to get through the second one. And this has been a really nice way to unwind at the end of a day. Come back next time for another day in the life of an SRNA.